Silicon Valley is known for supporting some pretty out there ideas. Indie Bio is a part of that as the first biotech accelerator to focus on things like 3D printed animal parts, gut microbes, and artificial skin. We went to check out the space and see what these mad scientist founders are up to next. So this is not a typical accelerator. This is actually backed by uh, SOS Ventures. Uh, why? So we at SOSV look at underlying trends and where they're going, and we look at funding big movements that could possibly change the world. We're helping scientists that have uh, a huge amount of talent, education, and creativity that don't have a place for them to go, and we're helping them become entrepreneurs. This is the first purely biotech accelerator. That's right, accelerator, as in we're giving, we're giving cash money uh, as well as lab space yeah. in exchange for equity. And yeah. the secret sauce is we're, we're helping to convert the capital expense, expense of building a biotech into operating expense. And that allows them to have a runway that they wouldn't have otherwise. What do you look for when, uh, when you're looking at startups to bring into IndieBio? So, so we're looking for people that are looking to, to solve intractable problems uh -huh. with technology, particularly biotechnology. Uh -huh. right? and, but you're looking for like big world changing. Very big ideas. How do we build our world using a bio-based economy? How do we remove the use of oil? How do we make new types of plastics? There, there's almost an infinite range of new biomaterials that can be built with biology. We want to help and take real risks. But you've also told me before that you really believe that there's a billion dollar company somewhere in here. Do you still believe that? Yeah, no, I, and I actually think that in biology, when we look at our markets are global, right? You know, billion dollar, yes, for sure. There's a billion dollar company in our first batch. But uh, where it gets interesting is when you're serving all of humanity, you know, a lot of people talk about trillion dollar companies. I think we'll see that with bio-based economy companies. We're not talking about the future in 10 years or in 15 years, we're talking about the future today. We want to see a product by the end of your acceleration period. And how long is that? Uh, it's about four months. Yeah. Tall order. Yeah, we're doing science, fast science. And there's lab space in it for them and a quarter of a million dollars in it yeah, for them. Yeah, exactly. So Plus the opportunity to raise more. Quarter million dollars. Yeah. You know, we, we'd like to, to get everyone inspired and ask them to apply. Send us your ideas and let's see if we can make something happen and create the future. George, I've talked to you guys before about making 3D printing rhino horn, genetically similar rhino horn. Yes. How long have you been with IndieBio? So IndieBio, we've been a, it's a 100-day program. Mm -hmm. um, we get the lab space until February, so about a year, um, and we'll be here for that year. Okay, and I'm really curious, what made you decide to go with IndieBio? Because it was a brand new program, uh, it was even less money when you started. Uh, what, what made you want to sign up? Sure, what really appealed to us was the fact that it was really biotech focused. Mm -hmm. uh, most other accelerators are very focused on software. Um, and obviously that doesn't translate very well sometimes to things that you need a laboratory for. So that's what really appealed to us. Tell me a little bit about Blue Turtle Bio. What is it? So Blue Turtle Bio is a therapeutics probiotic company. The general idea is to take uh, a gut bacteria uh -huh. uh, and tell it to make an enzyme. Uh -huh. right? And uh, we're able to actually tag the enzyme to get out of the gut, pass the gut barrier into the bloodstream. Is this, I mean, have people, are, is this only for certain people that aren't producing the enzyme already? Yes. Okay. So people that have the enzyme missing. Okay. Uh, so for people like Gaucher disease have a missing enzyme, uh, glucose cerebrosidase is the enzyme. And mm -hmm. without it, they can't break down certain lipids. So uh, really anybody, there's uh, what's considered 40 to 50 lysosome storage diseases. So we're, in a sense, able to plug and play. So for people that have a different enzyme, we're able to take out that enzyme and put that into the bacteria. Uh, and, and build that enzyme in the gut. So it's a wide range of diseases we're able to target. You've been with IndieBio for about four months, right? Yeah, yeah. What made you want to join this biotech accelerator as opposed to going to something, uh, some other accelerator or doing it on your own? Sure, sure. Uh, we're, we're from Detroit, and we're from the Midwest, uh, and there's a lot of energy, uh, there's a lot of excitement happening in Detroit. Uh, but considering the space we're in, um, it, it was very challenging for us to uh, really have uh, somebody behind us, a lab, a little bit of financial support. Uh, and fortunately, Indie Bio uh, program was starting up, and it's something we kind of ran across on accident and, and uh, looked a little deeper into and thought this would be perfect. 